um, I wanted to uh, go ahead and bring the um, editor, we call them editors, the filmmaker behind the story down here, Zach Litwack. Let's give Zach a hand. <laughs> Absolutely love that story. And Brad, why don't you go ahead and come down here too? I know people are going to have questions for you. Yeah. Call it cool. um, so while he's coming down here, I just really briefly wanted to tell you that um, one of the great things about this show is that we are able to give a creative platform to filmmakers like Zach um, and the rest of our folks that you'll meet here in a little bit. But um, we collaborate with them and they do such a fantastic job and it's great for the Cherokee Nation to invest in this kind of artwork and it's also um, um, it's not only an art filmmaking but what we do with our show is um, we're making a historical record for our tribe and that's something that we take very seriously and we're really proud to do that and not seen here tonight is Jeremy Charles who um, is our director and he owns the production company, he co-owns the production company with Sterling Harjo called Fire Thief Productions. They're contracted out to work on the show and they um, do such a fantastic job. Um, so I wanted to give props to him even though he's not here tonight. He usually is here and answers questions with me. So he's actually in Austin shooting a segment for, the, for this season, so you'll see that later on this season. Um, anyway, so I wanted to go ahead and get started. If anybody has any questions about what you saw here, one question I always had about wrestling was, was it re is it really that real? Like the trash can up there, right? I'm like, okay, that's a prop, right? That's not a real trash can. It was a real trash can. It was can. a real trash can. Uh, go to Lowe's. Yeah. If you really want to know, go to Lowe's, get your buddy, and, well, we don't. We don't and you have some that. more wrestlers here? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to introduce uh, my brother. Brandon? You know, we had our very first pro wrestling match on May the 4th of 2002, but our actual first match was in the, uh, my grandma's living room. I don't know, I was probably two, he was four. I think he may have won that match. <laughs> um, also, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, one of our local pro wrestling journalists and sometimes a manager and our announcer, Chris Burnham. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Really good friend comes out, helps us out a lot. Um, he writes for a, a, a cool website called oaklafan.com. Go check that out, it's really cool. Um, yeah, um, it's. Like I said in there, there's a lot more realism to that than you would think. Yeah. Um, like I said, the emotion is real. The uh, our job is to give you guys an emotional roller coaster. We can make you laugh. We can make you cry. We can make you mad. We can give you all these emotions in in those two hours that we are, we're out there uh, doing it. Let me. You know what? Let's play off that real fast. So, like he's he's talking about. When you go to one of these shows, there's a storyline to it. Yeah. There's the good guys and the bad guys. So we went to this event. We took our kids. We went to their event. And they had the good guys and the bad guys. And this this uh, story that you saw here is a longer cut than what's going to be on OCO TV, by the way. So you're getting to see kind of a director's cut. But also you're going to see something here tonight that you're not going to see on OCO TV. And that is something that made the cutting room floor. But we wanted to show you a little bit of a snippet. Right uh, during their match, they called me out. So Jeremy was behind. Jeremy, they all knew this was happening. I did not know. And they made me part of the show. And they put me in the middle of the ring. And this bad guy came up and got in my face. And he was yelling at me. And so here's what happened next. 